Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 8 of Skyrim on the PlayStation 5. We are exactly where at the end of part 7. Let's crack straight in. Look at the beautiful waterfall. We've got a bit of a battle going on up here. That hurt. Traps up here. The hell did they go? You did. Yeah, not getting too much off of these badges, am I? Pretty sure I've not missed anything. I feel like there was a dodgy, annoying mage type person up here. It's all been a little bit simple so far. Really? Expert, is it? All that for 10 gold, come on now. <laughs> and the one you don't have to pick's got all this stuff in it. Steel shin boots. There's more up there. I'm not really sure that my axe has got any power left in it, you know. I 
Yes, I think it's a wee bit of deed. All oh, right, I didn't realize your chanting went up with doing that sort of stuff as well. Nice. <laughs> Goat. Also, one stuff's a bit shit, isn't it? Let's get the magic back up. Aqueduct. Wow, potions galore. Not a bad shout, is it? <laughs> Might as well while we're here. Die. I knew there was a mage guy up here. Sorry, Lydia. Really? <laughs> Bag of no help in that fight, I was, wasn't I? Apart from hurting Lydia. Silver ore. Did that finish? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. What's at the top? Yeah, I feel like there's a couple of annoying badges up here as it happens. Yeah, there's a wall up here. Yeah, I remember. 
Holy shite. Oh, this is not going to end well. So I can hardly anything off him. Holy shite. That's not good. Nice. Get in. Nice work, Stevie. Woohoo! Level up and ride your pony. Level 10. I feel like I dealt with that slightly better than my other playthrough. Took a few attempts on the other one, I think. Beer poison. Steel sword of draining. Is this where I got my frozen, my freezing one? That'd be awesome if it was. Oh no, it's not. It's the ethereal one. Oh well. Big shiny. Ooh, orcish bow. Not bad. got an ancient Nord bow which is 10 damage. That dwarven hammer has got a lot of damage on it. Hasn't it? Yeah, the orcish bow starts at 11. Seems to be a tower up here. Yeah, I've got a weird recollection of one of those old hags in a tower. Maybe that's where she is. Cradle Stone Tower.
can hear her breathing. It's creepy as shit. Badger, so that was it. Nice. No, oh, I've not used me level up as of yet. Do a couple of stamina's next, I think. Attacks with war axes cause extra bleeding. What am I using? I'm using an axe, aren't I? Ooh, is it though? Yeah, a war, a war axe is a one-handed, yeah. That's fine. Well, it's the one-handed tree, Steve, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Hmm. One-handed weapons cost 25% less stamina. Decent. Can do one handed power attack while sprinting. A backwards power attack has twenty five percent chance. What's a power backwards power attack when it's on? Might be tempted with that. Not sure how far it goes up with extra bleeding damage, right enough. Mm, mind you, if I end up with the... There's a quest that gives me the Dawnbreaker, isn't there? Which means I'll be off the axe at that point. Where does that leave us, then? Where are we spending it? Buying, yeah, buying and selling 10% better. Might be worth a shout. Yeah, I started using the Aknarax or whatever they're called, didn't I? Cast novice level conjuration spells for half magic up. Didn't really use it that much, though. Two away from 25% more flame damage. One away from Apprentice Restoration, which will help with the fast healing. Twenty-five percent faster magic up. Healing spells cure 50% more. Yeah, we need that as well, don't we? Defo. Just the badger I was looking for. Come on now, jump up. Yeah, oh, fucking hell. I was trying to catch her by surprise and she got me.
think I hurt Lydia. Shit. Heal herself, I think she did as well. Whew. You're right there, Lydia. I got you, girl. I got you, girl. Let's be doing a bit of uh, sexual healing. Holy shit, what was that? That'll be that there then. That's okay. Nice. 25. I think I definitely struggled a lot more with these sections because oh. I didn't get the I didn't get the better spells until way late in the <laughs> in my other playthrough. I was using the bloody basic spells for ages. I feel like I got more out of this last time, but anyway. Oh, stop walking into me then, you muppet. Right. Well, that went relatively well. But that didn't answer what that other place was I went to. I don't remember discovering it. Lost Valley Redoubt. Cleared. Must have discovered it on in the middle of the battle or something. Well, we could make our way to Rorikstead. Mark Arthur way over the other side as well. Yes, I feel like I'm walking towards the edge of a cliff here. I think I remember doing this last time and I thought, no, I'm going to have to go all the way around. It's too high up. Maybe not. I feel like I could get stuck down there, though. This feels better. Oh, fuck. Definitely a troll up there. Nice. He's down. Woo.
Balthum. Well, that looks ominous. I feel like there's a definite question here. And I've also got a, a feeling that I had to come out of this place because I couldn't beat the guy that was in it. <laughs> I'm almost positive of it. Good we can but try, people. What have we got to lose, eh? Yeah, he asked us to do something for him. Leave Baldar. Stranger. Evil stirs in this place. I fear for the security of the very land if it should break free. What evil do you mean? We stand at the tomb of Hednorak, who has been dead for many generations. I fear, however, that his return may be at hand. There must be a way to stop this, surely. I have been holding him here. While he regains strength, however, I am fading. By now, I can barely contain his power, much less defeat him if he awakens. But with the help of a living champion, I may be able to succeed. Then I will help you. What must be done? You would do this? Three vessels in the tomb below hold the power to vanquish Hypnorak. Before anything else, we need those. Bring them to me, but be careful, mortal. They are guarded by Hypnorak's minions. They will stop at nothing to see their master return. Evil in waiting, yeah, I remember this being a bloody nightmare. And if I remember rightly, I'm pretty sure I came here when I had my freezing power as well, so I could freeze them. Uh, maybe not, actually. I might have got me freezing after this. And then thought later it could have helped me. Well, I feel like I'm going to come back to this. I've just remembered what it's like. <laughs> I've just remembered what that was like, people. Mind you, that said, I handed the old hags a bit better than I did before. Right, where are we going? Try and decide whether we go to Mark or nah. Let's get to Rorikstead. Although, this could be the easiest path to Markarth. And Rorikstead's then a quick jump and then straight up in it. Let's do it. Ready? We've activated the, uh, activated the quest anyway for that place. Let's do some more discovery. I mean, I was way more powerful than I am at the minute. The last time I went into that place, and I, I was getting my ass handed to me. I had to run away from the bloody three guardians, or whatever they're called. Yeah. Might be some dwarven ruins up here to discover as well.
Well, there seems to be some form of shrine up there. Oh, hello, tiger. My axe has run out again, you know. It's just unbelievably smooth. I can't believe how smooth it is on the PS5. Redonkulous people. Well, this does seem to be a place. Smithing increased, lovely. Is that all that's here? I was expecting there to be a go inside somewhere. around these parts as well though. Never quite tell how close you are to something is the problem. I mean, that cave could be right down at the bottom of that bloody mountain. That's outrageous. Look how good that looks. You can see the dwarven ruin already. I mean, I'm relaying this to you at 1080p, of course, but I'm looking at it in 4K. Yes, exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Boosh in the face. I mean, how even is that pronounced? Arknamths. <laughs> Put some vowels in the bloody thing, people. Okay. Let's keep circling around. There's a camp type thing up here as well. We're going to teleport back to all of this, by the way. I'm just doing a massive discovery session. Try and get ourselves points on the map. We can bounce around. Makes for light work. Bouncing back and forth. Dragon. Or something. the feck was that? Oh, is this the orc camp, maybe? I can't remember now. Dushnik Yal.
called Outlander. By the code of Malakath, this stronghold belongs to the orcs. <laughs> the kind are unwelcome. Okay. I can't even see you, Arab, but I'll chat to you anyway. I must, uh, I'm just a traveler. What is this place? This is our stronghold. Here, we are free to live as Malakath intended, away from the prying eyes of the Nords. You're not an orc or bloodkin, so stay out. We only help our own. How can I convince you to let me in? Hmm. We've heard whispers of an enchanted pair of gauntlets, hidden and protected by dangerous men, beasts, or worse. They are called the Forge Master's Fingers. Bring them to our chief, and he will decide if you are worthy to be bloodkin to the orcs. I'll find those gauntlets. We will see. There's that music. I'm assuming if I go inside, they'll attack me. So, the gate's already open. They're not. I feel like somebody told me that there was an ebony ingot kicking around here. Not of any use to me at the moment, but you need one to upgrade Dawnbreaker. Dawnbreaker! Is that the Dwarven Rune I was just at? Pretty sure it must be, is it? Nope. I say Dwarven. They're not called Dwarvens, are they? They're called something else. Reach Windiri. The Dwellmar, or whatever they're called. in a cave over there that I have not discovered. Hmm. This entire sort of two hours that I've been playing so far to record some sessions tonight, I have not seen one sticky frame rate in this whole playthrough. But just look at it, it's amazing. 60 FPS gorgeous. Pretty sure that's the. <laughs> that's where we just were. Could have just gone down the hill, Steve. I'll find those fingers. Holy fuck. That'll learn yet. Just a big pussy cat. Well. We found a bridge. Okay, I can hear a nern root. There it is. I always pick him up because I always, I have this vet recollection of a quest to pick up as many Nurn roots as you can. You collect a certain amount and give them to somebody.
Hey, brother, it's going down. All right, what are you saying? <laughs> you come to see me. You come to see me. How cool was that? Well, we're on the right road because I can see it now. Or I can see a windmill anyway. Yeah, there it is. Check that out. Right in the side of the mountain. That is crazy. Crazy good looking. Gonna be lots of pictures on the way up here, people. Is this guy gonna give me a, le a letter. Courier. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. All right then. Only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. A letter from the Yarl. There it is. Speak to the Yarl of Falkreath. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sidgir and I have the honour to be the Yarl of the proud and ancient city of Falkreath. The fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane in Falkreath, Hold... Oh, uh, sorry, I see. A Thane of Falkreath Hold, I invite you to speak to me the next time you're in Falkreath. Aside from that, the honour that accrues to the title, my Thanes are entitled to a personal house call. I also can tell you privately that a choice parcel of land in Falkreath would be up available for your purchase should your services prove useful to me. I look forward to meeting you in person. I remain Jarl Sidger of Falkreath. Seemed reasonable. Salvia's farm. Like, I feel like I'm playing this game for the first time, the way it feels and looks and plays like this. Wow. Check that out. Markov. Yeah, they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters or something. In the old form. You there. Hello. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? <laughs> All that mayhem's happening beside me. I can't see it. I haven't noticed any vampire menace. I'll have, that's true. Killing vampires? Where do I sign up? Ha! Ezron's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawn Guard, southeast of Riften. You'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material. Okay. Thanks, dude. God, a woman attacked right on the streets. Are you all right? Did you see what happened? I did not, because I was rudely interrupted by a Dawnguard person. I was right here, 
He almost killed me, I think, but I couldn't see him. I heard some shouting in the Forsworn, that was it. The Forsworn? Strange. Well, I hope the Eight give you more peace in the future for what it's worth. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Do you know anything about the attack? Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. I had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. Is this your note? My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Yeah, yeah, nothing shady then. Mm -hmm. Meet me at the Shrine of Talos. This Forsworn Conspiracy. Never grows old that music, does it? Crazy. Hey, Lydia. Well, we have actually picked up a lot of bits and bobs, to be fair. Who's kicking around this joint? Silver Blood Inn, sure, why not? Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. What you saying, Keeper? You look a... This is the Silverblood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say it's you, my friend, Klepper. I'm looking for work. Got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Kill the leader of the Dragon Bridge Overlook. Heard any rumours lately? Got a witch hunter in town from the priesthood of Stendar. Keeps asking questions about that old abandoned house. Where can I learn about magic? Any aspiring mage would do well to look for the college in Winterhold. Head there, and you'll get what you're after. Although our Jarl's humble wizard might be willing to help you too. Okay, thank you for your help. Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markarth. Just rooms, I think. Well, we need to trigger a bit of a quest, I think, somewhere down the line, Stephen. Just doing a lot of discovery at the moment. Did you see that, man? A force. One agent. Here. Key to Margaret's room. Hmm. Does that help us at all, or no? We'd have to find Margaret's room first. Just been in there. That's a shop. It seems to be open. Did you hear all that noise outside? It's just the market rabble. We should get back to work. You there, if you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Lisbeth handles the customers. I just check the shipments. Feel free to take a look around the store. You need to leave. Hello. You need to leave. Oh. Is it night time? Sun's all my life. It's a good store. I had a feeling it was a bit weird that I got to go in. Um, hangs about. Uh, the shop's closed. Wait. 
we'll handle things from here. Move along. Is it because it's Sunday? Sundas. Well, it could be. Not open on a Sunday. <laughs> really? That shit appear in this game? Means I've got to go 21 hours. Or we could have travelled to Whiterun. Modern Dath. You don't know anything about this house? No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? Oh, that might be the key that I've got. Usual noises. It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Oh my god, why is this place not open? I don't understand how the machine works, people. <coughs> we'll handle things from here. Move along. Well, there's a weird thing. I mean, I know sometimes it can take a while to get to their shop, but that's a bit ridiculous, don't you think? We'll handle things from here. Move along. Well, that's just winding me up now. Can make Lydia some awesome armor now. Well, better armor. Oh, God's sake, every time I go somewhere, it's middle of the bloody night. You're someone who can get looking to protect yourself? Or deal some damage. Well, just dump some shiz on you, to be fair. Hmm. 18 straight damage or 14 plus 5. Six and a half a dozen, isn't it? I mean, it's one more on there and you're getting a bit of shock damage, I suppose. Got a few billet filling the badger up, though. Hey. Hang on a minute, I don't know how to upgrade that orcish bow. Don't check inside the shop if you need anything. A stealing it, alright. Oh no, that's the ancient... what? I can take that up to superior now. It's because I've done the... It's because I've given myself steel smithing. Nice. So that goes up to 12. Yeah, that'll only go up to 12 at the minute. Because I can't do anything better than that with orcish stuffs. So I'm better sticking with this. Right behind you. I am at your command. Well, you don't seem to want to use that sword, do you? Even though it seems to be better than the axe. 19 plus 5, and that's 18 plus 15. Unless I take the axe off you, of course, but... 
don't know why she wants to use that. Is it because axes are more heavy duty? If I take that off you, will you start using that? Oh yeah, that was getting the souls out of things, wasn't it? Get hers up to 12 as well. Yeah, she's put the sword, she's put the sword on now. You lead up. I'm far too heavy. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to I don't claim to the finest weapons and armor. your back how can I serve you my thane well I'm gonna give you your bow back but better actually hang on a minute I don't think she was using this bow anyway let's see if she uses it now I think she kept using the wooden one she had You met my father. The finest weapons and armor. I'm almost reluctant to let it go. She was using it that much, Lydia. She loved that. Hey. Uh, you know what, though? Don't forget to check it. Might actually be better going up and collapsing some stuff at Dragon's Reach. Try and get our points up. Oh, they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire <laughs> Hunter. Rorikstead's a nice enough little hamlet, but a boring posting for a guard. If a dragon attacks, well, then it'll be a different story. Divine smile on you, friend. Sick? Well, to be fair, I could put then put it on anything, couldn't I, if I level it up? Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Or I could just hang on to it and use it as a secondary weapon for... Ah, uh, sod it. It's particularly handy for getting stuff out of... Yes, yeah, so that's a war axe, isn't it? I could stick the magics on that. Soul Trap. Oh yeah, you got to refill it. 21 charges. Whoa. 99 charges, but you got to do it within a second. Bloody hell, fire.
common. Why is the common less expensive than the lesser? <coughs> I'm now not sure which one gives the best... Uh, Twenty one charges. It seems to be six and a half a dozen, doesn't it? Doesn't seem to matter which one you put in. It gives it the same value anyway. Oh no, the petty one doesn't. That's 10 charges, yeah. enchantment but keep studying you've only scratched the surface can I say you anything are you feeling sick spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess them. well I can say that staff Got a huge amount of money, old. Uh, what's his puff, is he? What do you got that I want? Yeah, we've still not got the Uber books yet. Just have to reach a certain level before you can buy those. I thought I picked up some scrolls, you know. Didn't seem to be able to buy them off me, does he? All right. You've got the aptitude. You should join the Majors College in Winterfell. Yesterday I saw a dragon fly right over the city. Everything's for sale, my friend. Let me know if you see anything you like. Everything. Trinkets, odds and ends. That sort of thing. Yeah, he can buy the scrolls off me. Yep, he's nearly out of coin. I can nearly buy my house, though. Oh, bloody dragon bones. I forgot I was carrying those. 
I've not actually done the quest, have I? I don't think that... Do you go off and get the first... Well, you go off and see the first dragon rising. Could do with doing that so that we can... Because there's a chest you can use in her place to put stuff until you get your house. I work for Bella at the general goods. Can also do with a little bit of this while we're here. Have any leather strips? That, I don't claim to be the looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Uh Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Getting very close to that 30 mark, which is what we're after. So we can do our light. Getting close. Oh, might take a couple more visits. Have you met my father? He's a stu I help my father. Take a look. Would you like to buy 21 pairs of uh, leather braces? Lovely, thank you. I'm wondering if I should just dump the orcish bow for now. Can make a album one later anyway. How am I? Oh, yeah, it's the dragon bloody bones, isn't it? That's why I'm so heavy. Welcome to war. Looking to protect yourself. So if you buy all the leather off everybody, a little bit expensive, but you know. Quick way of getting your good doing business with blacksmithing up. Once we're at thirty, we can make our elven armor. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Ooh, getting close, isn't it? There is one more person we can go and get it from. Ooh, nearly got a level up as well. So... Last but not least, I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in life. Don't take this the wrong way. The best place to do it because there's three blacksmith well three people that sell that stuff kicking around the same place of steel to shape what you got for sale my friend Raised. 
-hmm. Although he doesn't seem to have a tanning rack up here, does he? Dude, seriously, how can you not have a tanning rack? What's the matter with you? <laughs> it's probably easier just to go like that. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Here we go. Well, actually... Is that two level ups we've got now, then? Maybe not. Hmm, why is my magicka so low? What's that all about? I've got some sort of deficit on me. It's a bit strange. Take a bit of stamina over any stamina yet, have we? Why is my magic taking a hit? No, I've only got one perk. So, however, this means we can now hopefully get, yep, elven smithing. Can create elven armor and weapons at forges and improve them twice as much. Sweet! So we're going to need some refined moonstone to do all of our bits and bobs. Alright, must have one piece. I can do some elven gauntlets. I don't... Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Oh, it's expensive stuff, isn't it? Bloody hell, pie. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Have you met my father? He's a steward at the Dragon's Reach. Do have any leather strips left? Good sake. <laughs> I've actually run out of leather to do what I actually need to do. I help my father in more ways than people realize. All the counsel my father provides the not overly sure what I'm short of. So I've got gauntlets, I've got armor. Yes? Oh, what's the gilded armor then? Just a different style. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. 46. Oh, what? Well, that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need quicksilver ingots to do those. Out with it. It's a big armor jump, isn't it? 46 against 55. It's hmm? weird. Hmm? I don't claim looking to protect yourself. Or deal some damage. Yeah, she's not got any quicksilver, so I suspect maybe that's something I need to pick up on my travels. Right, so we've got an elven armor, we've got elven gauntlets, we just need elven boots of some description. Father? He's a steward at the Dragon's Reach. Yeah, elven boots. One more refined moonstone and an iron ingot. I'm waiting.
Welcome to... Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Hmm. He's not got any. <laughs> For God's sake. Good doing business with you. You get to the end of it and people let you down. That's what happens. Well, I think I'll leave it there. I'll, I think off camera I'll go. I think I'll dive back up to what's his puff up here. Oh, let's just do it, shall we? You can always turn off if you're bored. <laughs> I just wanted to make my Elvish armor while we were while we were recording, was all. But that said, I'm not sure I've got enough coin to buy enough of the ingots to then upgrade it again. I'm trying to remember if it was the same ingots to upgrade it. It must be, surely. Got a lot of st the Skyforge. Ah, fuck's sake. Skyforge steel is all the companions will use. <laughs> Gods be praised. Well, he's got ten of the badges and the 222 each. Bloody hellfire. Right, hang on, I'll take one for the time being until I find out what the upgrade mm -hmm. malarkey is. What? Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Oh, for God's sake, Steve, come on. Oh, forgot about my iron ingot, didn't I? Gods be praised. We done? Okay. Let's just see what's what when we try and... Oh. You're joking me. Has he not got a... <laughs> oh, for God's sake. So he's only got somewhere to do his weapons, not his... Uh... That's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Just lying there. You can actually take it as well. I ain't much for talking. Gods be praised. I don't have enough, anywhere near enough, for all of those ingots. All right then. So, the quickest way I can find around that. is to teleport to Markarth and teleport back again and then enough time will have passed that everybody's got money again. <laughs> I think it's the best thing I can think of, people. There's about to be a forge here as well, to be fair. Holy hellfire, we've gone way over the hour mark, people. It's like an hour and 20 minutes or something. <laughs> What's going on? I think I should uh, I think I should wrap it up, people. It's all going to hell in a handbasket, and it's not even daytime. Okay, I think what we'll do is, I think we'll wrap it up there. Beginning in the next part, we'll grab the bits we need. We'll get our armor refined, is what I wanted to do with it. And then we'll crack into some action, people. Bit of a slow way to finish that video off. But anyway, it has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Skyrim on the PlayStation 5. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.